bottom here. This is actually something that should have been common sense to me, but uh, I never thought about it. Did you think about it? That uh, I be most time now Monday through Friday, with Monday through Thursday, I drink a uh, non-alcoholic beer, and this is pretty much what I drink. It's got 50 calories. Zero alcohol and zero sugar. This one here, y'all, has never been open, but the can is all busted up like this. And it's got probably two ounces in it. And that, that made me mad. That's $13 for a 12 pack. Uh, but no alcohol now. Check it. Um, uh, They say the benefits of non-alcoholic beer go far beyond providing a healthier alternative to drinking. That's, you know that. But you do need a little alcohol in your life, y'all. You need a little bit for uh, it keep your blood going good. There's a lot of things. If you go to a restaurant and eat and you have a whole table full of people and they serve everybody the same thing and the food poison come around, you might not get that food poison. You might get a smaller... Uh, I ain't gonna say dosage, but a smaller. You ain't gonna get as bad. Just leave it. Mm, uh, this is the part that I didn't think about. It hydrates instead of dehydrate. AIDS and post workout recovery. Tray 5 7 Productions. Promotes better sleep. And can even reduce anxiety. Crazy people. Uh, 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 the dehydrate port and the hydrate port. Just think about it. If you drink a 12 pack of that or a 6 pack of that. That's like 6 bottles of water. When are you going to drink 6 bottles of water on a normal day? You drink the hell out of some beer. I mean, it's not going to give you the same uh, taste as the beer you like, but it's beer taste. And I can kick them back, you know what I'm saying? I can kick them back, and that's like one bottle of water, two bottles of water, three bottles of water, four bottles of water. When you would be drinking like a bottle of water, and be like, I'm full, and you know what I'm saying. You got it. Uh, uh. If you're pregnant, take certain medications or doctor advised to limit your alcohol consumption. Non-alcoholic options right here, buddy. I ain't trying to promote no brand or anything at all. Just make sure it says zero alcohol. Not 0 0.5. That's a different animal. Obviously no hangovers. And uh, I have been riding down the street in the car just, just throwing them back. Ah, ah, you ain't even got to worry about looking around or having it in a, a bag, which bag is a total giveaway. But you can do it. And I be sitting there daring for the police man to pull me over when I had it. I said, he'll pull me over. And you know what I pull over? No, I don't. But. They say here, you, do you notice that uh, regular beer wine a little while never displayed nutritional information? You can find the uh, ABV, which is the uh, alcohol by volume. You'll never know the calorie or sugar content. Yes, you will on the calories. They put the calories on there now. Uh, that That is one of the reasons I do light beer. And I like the taste of light beer. I'm not... I'm not that deep punching beer guy. I do Modelo. I like Modelo. I can play with Corona here and there, but just some odd reason, I, I'm not with Corona. It's the piss beer. Yeah. 
But here in Mississippi, you can drink and drive anything you want. But you got to stay under the limit. It's hard to do. And despite what some people think, we do not have an open container law. Do your research, Mississippians. You know what I just said about drinking and driving. Do your research. How non-alcoholic beer improves your health. Let's dive into the good stuff, people. Mm, non-alcoholic beer can actually improve your health and can be fun part of a healthy lifestyle. Is that not the best news you heard all this day? Uh, it hydrates, self dehydrates. We already said that. Great workout recovery drink. As it says, have you ever seen those pictures of elite athletes, elite ones, holding a giant beer at the finish line with big smiles on their faces? When I'm sure some of these beers are alcoholic, I've come to believe that most of them are not. Some important research found that non-alcoholic beer can work as a recovery drink for athletes. Yes, I believe that is very important research. The recovery benefits them from the presence of phenols. That's P-H-E-N-O-L-S, which are compounds derived from plants. Phenols can reduce inflammation. That's good. Strengthen the immune system. That's super good. May even help with the C-virus. <laughs> Both of which are beneficial not only athletes, but anyone, everyone too. It promotes better sleep and can reduce anxiety. It has been long believed that alcohol helps you fall asleep. Yeah. But also now, when you fall asleep and the alcohol starts wearing off of you, you heat up. So you might wake up like, oh, that, uh. yeah, alcohol makes you sweat if, uh, later after it starts wearing off. Yeah, alcohol helps you fall asleep. While it may do so, it results in poor sleep quality. If you want to drink something before bed to help you sleep, choose a non-alcoholic beer. According to research on a group of nurses, participants fell asleep faster, slept better when they drank a non-alcoholic beer before bed compared to drinking nothing. Researchers know that drinking non-alcoholic beer reduces anxiety. On the flip side, the alcohol and regular beer can increase it. If you struggle with anxiety, keep this in mind next time you choose a beer. The secret ingredient to better sleep and reduce anxiety is hops. The study found that hops can help significantly improve mild symptoms of depression, anxiety, and stress. Another study found that hops act similar to melatonin, which helps which explains how it can enable better sleep. Did y'all get that? It improves mild symptoms of depression, anxiety, stress. Go get you some non-alcoholic beer. I've been drinking it for a minute.